In the wake of the Harvey Weinstein scandal, more and more people are being accused of sexual harassment. The latest target is MSNBC political analyst and game change author Mark Halperin. At least seven accusations have been made against him, though only two women have gone public with their allegations. HBO has canceled plans to adapt his latest book on the 2016 election into a miniseries. What to make of all of this? Tammy Bruce is a radio host and she joins us tonight. Um, Tammy, I know Mark Halpern. We're not friends. I'm, I don't really know what to think. He appears to have admitted some of this obliquely. Um, and so I, don't, I, I hesitate to weigh in, except one part of it sticks out, and that's that in this case, and as in a lot of others, a lot of the accusations are coming anonymously. It doesn't mean they're not true, right. but one of the keys to American justice, I think, has always been you get to face your accuser. You get to know what you're being accused of, and you get to know who's charging it. And that seems to not be in force anymore. Well, I think that Mr. Halpern perhaps does know who's making the accusations. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. The, the issue is not that we deserve to know. And let me just say, I, I, That's a good point. I, you know, I agree that it's a little concerning when you when you've got accusations made that affect someone's future, uh, and we've dealt with this on campus, et cetera, uh, with accusations versus targets. But in the case of someone like Halpern, I would argue anyone in that position, where you're not dealing with, let's say, famous actresses. Uh, these are perhaps still women who are in vulnerable positions where there could still be certainly some retaliation uh, that the ability to do this anonymously, especially when there's multiple accusations where now they're saying it was just like Weinstein, an open secret. Uh, that it may in fact still be safer for these particular women to do it in this fashion. Uh, and, and yet w when we're looking at, as why well, we know the names when it comes to Harvey Weinstein, it's perhaps easier because you've got women now who are somewhat established, who have names, who Amer Americans feel that they know, but I think there's an even higher risk for the unknown uh, uh, non-famous women, also frankly like women in Hollywood who are on crews who are behind right. the camera, who are, who are doing technical things. It's still different for them. So I think there's, uh, I, I think it's fair uh, that at this point there's an anonymous dynamic, as long as internally, uh, over at ABC in this case, that these things are handled fairly uh, for these women. I wonder from a news perspective what our responsibility is as journalists. So there's no other crime or alleged crime where we would print the name of the accused but not of the accuser. We would never say Tammy Bruce has been accused of embezzling money by an anonymous person. You'd have, the anonymous person would have to be named. I wonder why news organizations sort of only print half the story. Well, in, in this, well, look, this is though, you've got to consider the context. This is now seems like a wave, right? Right, this is well, a, it's this definitely is a, a wave. This is a push. I mean, this is an environment where each step has encouraged other women to come forward, whereas women are thinking, well, maybe this is okay now, this is a safe uh, time to do it. There's now some uh, recognition that apparently there's a report that ABC, the network, knew of these allegations at the time, that these women were not silent. Hmm. So you have backgrounds where other action was taken. Uh, I, I think, though, well, that's, that, a di that's a different thing right there, yeah. if, if ABC Network knew this. Yeah. yeah, and now these are, again, all of this will, uh, you know, is, is going to work out in a certain sense with information. But, but as we report these things, we know also that these are accusations, they're allegations. Right. We, we, and Mr. Halpin's going to, uh, has made certain decisions, as has HBO and, and his publisher as well, as you've noted. So, but we do have a responsibility to make sure that we're talking about the larger issue, uh, the things that are affected, the, the kinds of women affected, the nature of our responsibility, uh, also as, as people in, in, in that environment with ABC, uh, women who may have known, uh, and if certainly in Hollywood, that, conversa that conversation still happens about uh, the, the vulnerability of women. But then my point as a feminist is the older women, financially secure, who are not at risk, where do those women come in here, and is our feminism responsible? Do we have a duty uh, to, to speak up when we do know? Uh, and I think that that is something that's key for all of us at this point. Well, yeah. I mean, of course, if, if people who say they represent women who keep this information secret. Well, and, or even act, act against them, like the Lisa Bloom right. case, when you've got a Ugh. lawyer who is using feminism as almost like a slogan, and then ends up using that simply for what might be just personal enrichment, or at least the opposite of what she. Per of course, well, she's. Know, I mean, she's Al Sharpton. Yeah, of course, she's. She's selling moral coverage. Well, it's, to people it's feminism who need it. has become a business, and, right, and this exactly. is something that uh, that we need to also take back. I think a little bit. Tammy Bruce, a clear thinker. Thank you. Thanks, Hecker.